students now i'm going to start question number 2 of exercise 7.6 now question number 2 says sarita bought 2 by 5 meter of ribbon and lalita 3 by 4 meter of ribbon what is the total length of the ribbon they bought sarita bought 2 by 5 meter suppose this is 2 by 5 meter of ribbon okay and lalita bought 3 by 4 meter suppose 3 by 4 meter is this okay so what is the total length of the ribbon they bought this is 2 by 5 meter of ribbon which sarita bought and this is 3 by 4 meter of ribbon which lalita bought we have to find the total length okay so we'll write total length how can we find we can find the total length by doing addition right so we'll write sarita bought 2 by 5 meter of ribbon and lalita bought 3 by 4 meter of ribbon so therefore total length of ribbon is 2 by 5 plus 3 by 4 meter okay now we will have to find the lcm of 5 and 4 now what will be the lcm of 5 and 4 is if you take 2 5 cannot be divided by 2 so it's 5 2 2s are 4 then 2 ones are 2 and 5 ones are 5 So two into two into five. Five two is a ten. Ten two is a twenty. So twenty is the LCM. Okay. So we will have to make twenty in the denominator. So what should we multiply to get twenty? It's four. The same number should be multiplied to the numerator. So two four is a eight. Then we have plus sign. Now what should we multiply to four to get twenty? Five. Now the same number to be multiplied to the numerator. So it's three fives are fifteen. Now fifteen plus eight, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. So it's twenty-three by twenty meter. Okay. Now this is an improper fraction. We will have to convert it into mixed. So we will divide this. So twenty ones are twenty. So three minus zero is three. So we'll write quotient at first. then remainder will be in the numerator and divisor will be in the denominator so it's 1 3 by 20 meter okay so the total length of ribbon they bought 1 3 by 20 meter now coming to next question now question number 3 says naina was given 1 1 by 2 piece of cake and nazma was given 1 1 by 3 piece of cake find the total amount of cake was given to both of them so Naina got one and half piece of cake. Suppose this is the full cake, okay? So this is the full cake. One means full, one full cake, and half means if we make it half, then this half portion is given to Naina. Means this full and this half. This is one full cake and this is half, okay? So this one and half piece of cake was given to. Nana and Nazma was given one one by three means one full cake and one full cake and one by three means if we divide the cake into three parts then like this one part is given this to Nazma okay this full and one by three part okay now we will have to find the total amount of cake was given to both of them so Nana and Nazma. If you find the total amount of cake which was given to Naimna and Nazma, then we will have to do addition of these two. Okay, so we'll write cake given to Naimna is one one by two, which is two ones are two, and. Two plus one, three by two. 
okay we will just convert it into improper fraction denominator will remain same so 2 will remain same and here we just multiplied the whole number to the denominator and the result to be added to the numerator okay so it's 1 by 2 uh, 3 by 2 now k given to Nazma is 1 1 by 3 so again denominator will remain same to convert it into improper fraction denominator will remain same so this into this plus this so 3 ones are 3 3 plus 1 4 by 3 okay now we will have to find the total amount of cake was given to both so cake given to both is 3 by 2 plus 4 by 3. Now we will have to find the LCM of 2 and 3. Now the LCM of 2 and 3 is 6 because 2 3s are 6. So here we will multiply by 3 to get 6. We will make the denominator same. So uh, if you multiply 3 to 2 then we will get 6 and the same number is 3 to be multiplied to numerator. So it's 3 3s are 9 plus here we will have to multiply by 2 to get 6 and here also we will multiply by the same number so 4 2 is 8. Now 9 plus 8 is 17 by 6. We will convert this into mixed fraction so if you divide this by 6 then we will get 6 2 is 12 so 7 minus 2 is 5. So what will be uh, here so it's we will write quotient at first so it's 2 5 by 6 okay. So, 2, 5 by 6 piece was given to both. Now, 2, 5 by 6 means if you, uh, 2 means full cake. Means this is full cake and this is another full cake. So, it's 2. Now, 5 by 6 means the another one. If, if, you, uh, if you divide into 6 equal parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then, out of 6 parts, they will be getting 5. Okay, so it means 2, 5 by 6. This means 2 full cake and this is 5 parts out of 6. So it is 2, 5 by 6 piece was given to both of them. Okay, this was question number 3. Now coming to question number 4. Now in question number 4 we have filling the boxes. The first part we have box minus 5 by 8 is equals to 1 by now from which number should we subtract 5 by 8 to get 1 by 4 now now here if you make the denominator same then it is easier to find that which number should we put in the box see here we have 8 so how will you make the fraction into like fraction we will have to make it a like fraction by multiplying 2 here because if you multiply 2 here we will get 8 right now here we will have to multiply by the same number so 1 by 4 will be 2 by 8 right 1 by 4 will be 2 by 8 now you think about it from which number should we subtract 5 to get 3 it's 7 right and since denominator is same here, denominator is 8, so it will be 7 by 8. So from 7 by 8, 5 by 8 should be subtracted to get 2 by 8. Okay, now coming to B part. In the B part we have box minus 1 by 5 is equals to 1 by 2. So here also we have unlike fraction. So, if you make it like fraction, then it is easier to find the missing number. So, here the LCM of 5 and 2 is 10. Because when you find the LCM of 5 and 2, 2, 5 cannot be divided by 2. So, it's 5. Now, 2 ones are 2. After that, 5 ones are 5. So, the LCM of 2 and 5 is 10. Now, here... What should we multiply to 5 to get 10? It's 2. And the same number to be multiplied by the numerator. So it's 2 by 10. And here if you multiply by 5. Then we will have to multiply by 5 to the numerator as well. 
because we need to make the same denominator so we are getting 5 by 10 now we have the same denominator now we can easily find that what should be the number here here we have 5 by 10 and here we have 2 by 10 because 1 by 5 and 2 by 10 are equivalent fraction so we can just convert it into like fraction and then we can find the missing number so here is 10 here is 10 so here denominator will be 10 now what should we subtract from which number should we subtract 2 to get 5 it's 7 because 7 by 2 7 minus 2 is 5 so 7 minus 10 should be uh, 1 by 5 should be subtracted from 7 by 10 to get 1 by 2 okay now coming to c part in the c part we have 1 by 2 minus box then 1 by 6 okay so again we will have to make the denominator same so here we have 6 now here if you multiply by 3 then we will get the same denominator we can convert it into like fraction so here also we can multiply by 3 so it's 3 by 6 right now from which number should we subtract 3 to get 1 so it's 2 right 3 minus 2 is 1 and the denominator will remain same so 3 by 6 minus 2 by 6 is equals to 1 by 6 so what we have done in this case we have just converted the first fraction to 3 by 6 we have made the denominator same now when the denominator is same then we can easily find the missing number now 1 by 2 has become 3 by 6 we will have to find the missing number in the box okay now now what we should we subtract from 3 to get 1 it's 2 because 3 minus 2 is 1 so it will be 2 and these since these are all like fractions so denominator will remain same it's 6 only so answer will be 2 by 6 now 2 by 6 can be written as 1 by 3 also because 2 1s are 2 2 3s are 6 okay so here answer will be 1 by 3 okay so this was all about question number 4 thank you students